Good day and welcome to another edition of Outside the Genie, where we will be looking at raising today from the fall, uh, the fall 13 August 2020. Before we start looking at the betting and the form and do our form analysis, just, just for the people watching Outside the Genie for the first time, Outside the Genie is a service where we do uh, analysis of uh, the horses form, and then we give you outside the selection that you can put into your play, whatever your play is, whatever your favorite is to play. For some people, it's big sixes, other people, it's quartets, other people, it's PA, whatever your play is, you can include this outside so that you can get perhaps the bigger payouts. And I can tell you that we have given selections in the past that really boosted the payouts. So uh, I would suggest if you want to get a uh, notification every day that our video appear, just click the subscribe button, ring the bell, and you'll be notified every day when once our video is posted on YouTube. So also uh, we are available on um, Twitter, outside of Genie, uh, at um, Instagram, and here are our WhatsApp details. If you want to advertise something, you're more than welcome to, uh, to uh, contact us. Um, we are looking for advertiser to sponsor this uh, preview every day, and we will give you really good rates. Let's quickly look. Let's look at some of our results in the, from the past. Kenilworth on 11, we tipped you three um, nice bets outside of Genie, outside of selection number two, Neville Moo, eight to one, Zoe Lucky, 16 to one, and number 10 and a half, 10 to one. After that, the meeting was abandoned. Yesterday at Gravel, we gave you an outright selection, number one, Purple Powerhouse, which won one at 18 to 10. I just want to quickly uh, explain here. We give you three selections. Our first selection is normally outright selection. That is the horse that we think that there's a good chance to win the race. Then we give you two of what we call outsider selections, and that is outsiders that you can include in your, in your play, whatever your play is. In race two, our outside of selection number four, Amber Hall, came home 11 to two. Then we gave you a very good um, outside of selection, and number seven, Good Rhythm, was 12 to one at the time of selection, and did jump at 11 to two, and we gave this horse a very good chance. Then in race number nine, we gave you, when you if you listen to our, our preview, and that is important that you listen to our preview every day. We did say in our preview that number nine, Arun, is a very strong contender in that race, and we recommended that you uh, put that horse in all your selections. The horse won by about three lengths at 12 to one. Then um, we're breaking news. We have, um, with the July, we did a preview with Pierce Stradon, and he has again agreed to do a preview with us for the Gold Cup. And just, we, we want to remind you that on, gold, on the July day, we gave you five very well-priced winners, of which the last two gave you 101, uh, 100 to one double. And we will try and repeat that feat again on Gold Cup Day. Then um, also we will, on Gold Cup Day, we will uh, operate a video preview of the six, of the big six races, which will be only uh, open to members who subscribe to our daily analysis service. We'll do a preview, which will be for free for the non-pick um, non six races. Then by special request, I've had a request from members if I can't, you know, just give some special offers or certain types of offers. So I've increased my uh, uh, membership levels. Um, let's look at package one. If you subscribe now from 1 September to 31st December, that's from now, which will then would include the Gold Cup selections. That will be 1,200 Rand, and that will work out to 300 Rand a month instead of 500 Rand a month. Then if you now sign up and get selections from now till end of September, we, we will give you a special offer of 400 Rand. So you would have normally paid still about another 600 Rand for the reminder of this month. And then September is 500 Rand. So you do have a small saving there. Uh, if you want to sign up just for a World Cup uh, weekend, that's from the Friday till the Sunday, 150 Rand. Then if you now sign up till end of August, which would include the Gold Cup, you can pay a 200 Rand fee now till the end of August. And lastly, package five, if you just want a weekend package for those three weekends, it will cost you 105 Rand. 
And just to show you what we do, we give you uh, in our uh, analysis service, we give you a race by race selection, outright winner and two possible outsider selections. We give you value bets that comes in very often. And if you play them each way, then you still, even if they didn't win, you still make a small profit. We give you best bet of the day, which is, does not include odds on that you can find yourself. You don't need a genie for that, but you need the genie to give you a best bet of the day that, is, that has got some value. We also give nice quartets and trifectas. Last week, we, we gave you a quartet at the Vol paying 15,000, as well as affordable PA and fixing selections, which you can utilize in terms of, you can take our selections, add your horses in, or use some of the horses in our selections, add them to your own pick six and play accordingly. And if you should subscribe, you will receive a daily uh, sheet like this with all the information that you will need on one sheet. You can then either print it or work from your phone or wherever, uh, of course, this will be posted on the WhatsApp group that we will add you into. So let's have a look at the racing today. And we start up with the first race. Um, the first race is a work riders maiden, uh, where we are racing um, over a distance of, I'll tell you now, 1,600 meters. Um, let's have a look at the betting first. The betting is Ancient Rome at 33 to 10, Untamed Tiger 4 to 1, Frozen Palace 4 to 1, Brave 1 5 to 1, Thunder Jet 6 to 1, Ford Love 12 to 1, 14 to 1, and longer the others. Let's quickly have a, 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 a this race. I'm not going to dwell too long on this race. My selection this race is number one, Untamed Tiger. I based this on this horse uh, second last run behind Trent Master. Trent Master came out as, as since one and ran two places. Um, so uh, I definitely think that um, number one, Untamed Tiger is the horse to beat. Bravo one is also has got a chance. I'm not sure about the jockey. Has also run some places, but I think uh, the stable elite would be number one as they both from the same stable from the Dodi Sham stable. Then there is some other horses with small chances. Drummond Dude is running here and there. Might be a good inclusion into your quartet. Thunder Jet is also showing signs of getting to life after a very first good run, um, but it hasn't repeated since. But maybe now uh, with the Ramanzian board, but drawn 13 can improve. Number nine, six, um, Kentira might also be considered for the back end of the quartets, as is number seven, City Deep, has run a few places, and you might want to include that into your back end of the quartets. I see this Karen Fisher is riding. She is becoming a nice, competent rider, so maybe worth, you know, not leaving this horse out of your calculations. Uh, number eight, Custom Made. Uh, this is a very well-bred um, horse. It's a full brother to, uh, I can't think of the name now, but uh, it's, it, that, uh, it's a full brother to horse that has won great ones. And unfortunately, the drawn is now, um, oh, but this is a, a down the straight, the 69 turn. The draw is not that big of a concern. I apologize. This horse has shown uh, improvement in his last race after the rest, and I'm sure not to be left out. Uh, then the favorite is number 13, Ancient Rome. It's a three-year-old for Peter Stable. Machuali riding a very competent jockey. Um, yeah, I don't know. This horse has shown in, uh, in a previous work riders, seven lengths behind, and then last time out, uh, no show. So I found it difficult to see why this horse is favorite, but I'm not here to, 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 to judge the betting. I just follow it. Then here we have number 14, Frozen Palace. Portala Palace out of a Western Wintermere. I'm sure this horse will be the improver in the race. And I think this is the horse that will be the biggest, the stiffest competition for number one and number two. So let's move on to race number two and three, where I'm only going to run with you the betting because these are newly turned three-year-olds. There's not a lot of form to go around. And since I'm a form analyzer, I can't really do selections on this. So I'll just quickly run through the betting. And then we'll move on to race number four. Um, I just want to scroll down to race number four, which is um, also a maiden plate over 1,600 meters. So let's look at the betting for these two races. Um, the betting is as follows. Number eight, um, Galapagos Hotspot. 
22 to 10, 4 to 1, Jack Lack. That did improve last time in Kwazulu Natal. 4 to 1, Money Fighter, Blue Eyes, 7 to 1, um, National Liberty, 7 to 1, 16 to 1, Dawn of a New Era, 25 to 1, Reggae Rocks, and longer the rest. Uh, the third race is number 12, um, Undu Twa, Twa um, I don't know how to pronounce that, 13 to 10. So it looks to me like Fortune uh, has got both the favorites in two and three. So maybe if you uh, are a punter who would like to take a chance, you might want to maybe take that double or take the speech double because I see, again, here they are second favorite, 72. Milan's Princess, and that's why I don't play these because these horses shows really quick improvement from one race to another one. Swiss Bank 92, 8 to 1, Aneski, Castle Doro 16 to 1, 22 to 1, Oksana, and 35 to 1, and longer the rest. So let's have a look at race number four. Here we have another fortune, 6 to 10. Maybe you want to take the triple or to come, I don't know. Uh, a 6 to 1 cast the dice. Anachura 17 to 2, 10 to 1, Incognito 12 to 1, Flower Season, Liverpool Legend 14 to 1, 33 to 1, and longer the race. So let's have a look at this race number four. Here in race number four, uh, I really do fancy number two cast the dice. There's a mumble in Seattle Philly, Jackie draw 10. Um, this horse improved just before the rest, improved and run a nice uh, race. And also in its first race, it was on running on in the strong field band, um, Anne Boyden. I think Anne Boyden has now run another one, another two, two races. And I'm looking for cars to dice to run a big race here. Um, and maybe come home first. Number one, Anatura has been placed um, lately. And also a big danger of Ferraris on board at drawn 15. There are other horses with chances flower season. Um, has run a few places. Uh, as, as a matter of fact, ran one, two, three, four, four seconds uh, earlier. Um, as now at one run, didn't do too bad. Maybe read it, maybe needed a run and can improve. Just something I want to notice here. Okay, now that's fine. Um, so also here we have number 11, Caesar Glow. Caesar Glow um, did run second in a juvenile. It's now three-year-old against four-year-olds. And there's always a difficult time of the year three-year-olds running against four-year-olds. And uh, yeah, you know, anything goes, as you can see here. But yeah, for them, they have to be, you know, a little bit above average to uh, beat a four-year-old, which is also average. So um, definitely to me, not a six to 10 shot. I won't be rushing to take the six to 10. Number 12, Liverpool legend is also uh, showing forms. I've come into form last time out. Ran fourth, uh, which is not shown here, but I just checked on form grids. He ran fourth against the stable companion, Eula Late. And I think the Liverpool legend also holds that can surprise. So let's move on to race number five. I must say, there are a few open races, which makes it a little bit difficult. Here we have a merit rated 72 handicap, class E63. Let's look at the um, betting. Here the betting is number one, Dark Tide 2 to 1, Riga the Order 3 to 1, In the Game 15 to 2, Private Ruler 10 to 1, Street Flyer 12 to 1, Bouncing Tiger 14 to 1, March to Glory 16 to 1, Flatly 16 to 1, and 18 to 1, and Better the Race. So let's have a look here at race five and on at a few runners. Dark Tide, um, let's make sure this is a class E, average merit rating 63. A dark time won his maiden two runs ago after taking a few runs to win his maiden. Um, you know, it takes about seven runs to win his maiden. Um, that run in a class D, which was a 68, so it's slightly down in class, ran second behind category four. Category four came out to win again last time. So number one, dark tide, not without a prayer. Number two, March to Glory has now had a stable change and um, has had a few runs for Barrent and uh, Buertas, and I'm looking for this horse to repeat because this horse has run against much stronger than he's running here. And I always, I remember this horse, I think one is maiden by about six lengths, but he's a battling, but has run against some nice horses. There's Lone Survivor, you know, um, Lone Survivor has won again. Um, you know, so I think this is a nice outsider that you can include into your play. Number two, March to Glory. 
Rija de Ura, one last time out of Stradum, can repeat, um, was in the same class now as running in now, so not without a chance, but not definitely not a certain, not a certainty. Um, out of the rainbow, the Kaysen, you know, he is coming to the ball and he's picking up winners, but uh, I'm finding it hard to see this horse winning this race. Bouncing Tiger was also a talking horse at one stage, um, and can come back every uh, can come back. I see last time out he was about six lengths behind, uh, also behind category four at Turfontein. So, but keeping your maybe put in the back ends of your quartets. And I want to have a look at number nine, uh, Private Ruler. Um, Private Ruler has also run against Stronger com Company, the Palmer. Last time out ran against category four, and category four has um, won again. And I'm looking for uh, Private Ruler today uh, to run a very good race. As always, has done course and distance, has won and been placed. And I think today Private Ruler will run a forward race and be involved in the finish. So that is my uh, preview for race number five. Let's move on to race number six, which is a merit rated 87 handicap, class C, average merit rating 77, over 2,000 meters. Here is the betting as follows. Number one, Master and Man, 7 to 2. Tyrus Express, 7 to 2. Sell High, 4 to 1. Defy Gravity, 5 to 1. Gentleman's Wages, 6 to 1. Jags are, Jags are, 8 to 1. 16 to 1, Ideal Wheels. And 80 to 1 and longer the rest. We have three scratchings. Number 2, 5 and 6 are scratchings. Um, here in this race, I do fancy... Uh, number, let's just have a look at number one, Master and Man. Definitely running well. Uh, did run a little below par uh, behind Christopher Roman last time. Um, and number two at the end, he scratched. Defy Gravity did one last time at a very long price at 18 to 1, beating Sell High. But I think on a way turnarounds today, Sell High will improve and be finishing in front of Defy Gravity. And this is my choice to win this race. As was has done course and distance, two seconds and a third, and is due today. Always runs on, you know, uh, has run on strongly in the past and a straight up on board. I uh, would think this horse will have a very good chance winning this race today. Um, let's move on a little bit. This is a scratching, another scratching. Um, I want to move on to number eight, Ideal Wolf. Ideal Wolf um, has run well in, in the maidens and then came out and hasn't run that bad um, uh, last time out running in a higher division than it's running today. Today it's running, um, you know, um, a little bit higher. So I think, and uh, I do think that Ideal Wolf will definitely have a chance in this field. A nice outsider uh, a value bet to play each way. Gentleman's Wager uh, did one of um, uh, three races earlier and is now back in Gauteng and looking to pick up a winner. Also didn't run in the same race behind Apollo Robbins. Did finish in front of um, number uh, eight, Ideal Wolf. So definitely also in with a chance. Jack Jageza, Jageza has also uh, won two nice races earlier last year this time. And sometimes horses has got the habit of getting to form um, a year later. So looking for improvement on number 10, Jageza, Jageza, Callan Marin riding. Definitely always you don't have, you can't discard, has run in, in stronger in his last few races and can surprise. Number 11, Titus Express, poor match at Kamalo, um, has also run well um, after the maidens uh, in that race, Apollo Robbins. Uh, I think that, that form is going to be strong behind Apollo Robbins. So also always that you need to include in your play um, does run on, if you see here, uh, he does run on well 400 to finish. So definitely always that you need to include in all your play. We now move on to race number seven, which is a Phyllis Amir 71 handicap of 1800 meters class D, average merit rating 63. Let's look at the betting here. Number two, Plumfield, four to one. Number six, Sammy Musa, seven to two. Miss Khalifa, nine to two. Western Dance, eight to one. Miss Takun, ten to one, 12 to one, and longer the race. I'm not going to dwell long on this race. I can tell you now, for me, the winner in this race 
is number is number um, number six, Sammy Musa. I don't know if you watched the race last time out last week. <coughs> that was awesome by choice. This horse is down in class, has been running against much stronger than last week. I gave it as my best bet. Unfortunately, this horse got done on the rails by the winner and some of the other horses <coughs> that finished behind Western Dance. And I think if Sherman Brown can keep this horse today out of trouble, it is race over and he will win today uh, because he should have won uh, last week. But you know, that race is run, you cannot um, uh, uh, repeat it because even that distance three to five is flattering because the jockey had to actually stop riding the horse, came around and started running again. And then I did see that the jockey's in, that, that it sort of like give up over the last 100 meters. So he did well to finish 3.2. I uh, was also behind Treadmaster, as I said. And uh, Treadmaster has been placed again. Um, and I'm looking for number six, Sami Musa, to come home lonely today. There are others that was in the same race. Um, I also like Ms. Khalifa. I think Mr. Khalifa, Ms. Khalifa will be more... Um, uh, uh, better over the distance as she also runs on shop very well from behind. So definitely a horse that you need to include in all your play. Then also a um, uh, horse that you need to look at is number five, Miss Tycoon. Miss Tycoon uh, has also run against uh, some good opposition last time out um, before the race ran behind Passion Peach. And I'm sure after the race, this horse will improve to, um, it will improve as it had a stable change since its last run. And I'm looking for this horse to run an improved race. As I said, there's many horses of chances in this field. Passion field, the speech can improve, but the finish nine and a half lengths behind last time. Uh, last year was leading, but in faded, the same race. And um, yeah, here we have um, Piccadilly Square. Um, I've been following this horse, also was there in the mix um, in that same race behind Western Dawn. So it's all of the same, uh, you know, uh, type of horses running. Here's Western Dance, who won the race last time. It's now, uh, um, you know, uh, I'm not sure the horse can go in again. Only time will tell. So let's look at race number eight. Race number eight is a classified stakes for 1,200 meters. Class D, average meter rate in 66. Now, for you, for those that don't know, a classified stakes is with four horses who don't have a merit rating of higher than 72. Let's have a look at the betting. Number two, Soul Connection is now 72. Spanish Boy, 5 to 1. Saki Met, 5 to 1. Alex the Great, 7 to 1. Windy Flight, 72 to 2. Mr. Hugo, 9 to 1. And 14 to 1 and longer the rest. Now, here my selection is, um, I want to go down to number, number 11, Alex the Great. Um, this race, the average minute rating is 66. Now, if you have a look here, 91, 85, 68, 69, 72. This horse is run against much stronger competition Last time I just hovering behind Captain Einside, and I can assure you, Captain Einside, that was an average rated of 84, is no slouch. Number 11, Alex the Great, currently at 7 to 1. I think we have a, we have a bet today. Um, it is always hasn't won for 434 days, but I do think that today might be his day. Um, there is other horses with chances. Um, number six uh, um, is. Sackmeet also running well, um, has been running against slightly stronger day behind Roy's Winter. Manaquera, Ferrara's ride, you know, he's riding well, so definitely include. Number number um, seven, Mr. Hugo, showing signs of getting back to life and can also be included in quartets and the back end of your quartets. Um, Wara Wara is a dangerous horse because you never know how it is also going to run quite into your back end of your quartets. Here we have Windy Flight. Last time out ran on well behind M Manoa and Scottsville. Now back at the wall. This horse runs on well at the end, as you can see there. And I think number nine, Windy Flight, will definitely be there when the photos are, uh, are taken. 
Well, there are many horses with chances in this field. Um, I mean, the favorite cell connection is on a hat trick, but I think she's going to find it hard running against a little bit better class of horse than she ran last time, but do have the minus four, which is in her favor, so can definitely go in again, uh, definitely a horse to watch. Um, so then let's move on to the last race, which is the nice race. It's 1,200 meters in another classified stage where the merit rating is 67. So it's just one higher as the previous race. Now in this field, uh, let's have a look at the betting. Uh, written in stone 22 to 10, we all saw me 7 to 1, elusive Jack 7 to 1, Lord Graveton 12, 15 to 2, 10 to 1, Wahima Kels Crunch 12 to 1, Orchard Space 10 to 1, and 10 to 1, Free Deal 16 to 1, and longer the rest, including Holy Man. Now, last time out, um, Lord Graveton ran against a lot of these horses and did beat him, but I'm sure today it's not going to be that easy. It's gonna, there's gonna be a, um, you know, I think it's gonna be a little bit stronger position, and one of them could be number one, Waima. Waima ran in the same race. He ran one length behind Lord Graven, but on the white turnarounds today, Waima is gonna finish much closer and is definitely capable of beating uh, Lord Graven. And this is then also my um, uh, play for this race. This also has run well. Um, you know, has run against a strong opposition in his last few races. And I think um, will definitely be a contender when the focus are taken in, in this race. Number two, Crown Guardian is a scratchy. Another horse that I like is Holy Man. It's a four-year-old, hasn't had lots of runs, only seven runs. And this horse is always running on. Um, last time out was a little bit up of the pace, over 14.50. But I think the 14.50 might be a little bit far. Back over the 1,200 meters, I'm sure number three, a holy man, will be a contender. We all, Chomis, has won the, the previous race, and his previous race, and last time out, six lengths behind, blow me down, but always a contender, definitely a horse that you need to include. Britain in stone of Pierre da Stradium, definitely in with a huge chance. Um, Stradium on board can, can, can also be involved in the finish. Elusive Jack. Um, as um, one is maiden and the last time out uh, ran fourth, we'll have to, you know, like produce that run to and follow up on that. Then we here we have um, number seven, Lord Graveton, did one last time, uh, beating Garden Party, which was a surprise to all, um, as the price of 25 to one suggests. We'll have to repeat to be involved again. Kels Crunch, Ferraris riding, didn't do too well. Um, Last time out behind Bohica, before that was placed a few times. Um, this already a six-year-old has had 19 year, uh, 19 uh, runs. I see this. You know, if you check back in the past, you'll see this horse has had some long rest. So they, I don't know where the problem was, but are now just battling to get back into form. Orchard Express from the from feeding stable. The from feeding stable is hot at the moment. You need to follow that. It looks like there was a little bit of money for it. So include into your play. Here we have Breach of Spies, Clinton Builder. Benda is always a danger. Um, I, I've got into the habit of uh, including the, uh, the horses into my play um, because these horses often wins at, on long prices. So that then concludes my um, preview for today at the Vol. Um, as I always say, I hope you have a good day and break a leg.